VIPs, it's Lexus Joy from Lexus Joy VIP Access and I'm so happy to be catching up with the lovely Chandler Kinney. And we're here today at their event for Gordimer Gibbons Life on Normal Streets event here at the El Nido Family Center. So Chandler, I just want to congratulate you on all the excellent success with your career. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're very welcome. Now first of all, I have to ask you, what is it like for you working on set of your amazing show? It's so much fun. Um, on Gordimer, we always are playing pranks on each other, um, <laughs> just playing games and constant laughter. We're always laughing, like always. Excellent. <laughs> well, now that you mentioned something about pranks, you know I have to ask you about it. Do you guys have like a prank that stood out to you? Um, well, my favorite prank actually was on Sloan. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> I um, took a packet of Oreos. And I put I put mayonnaise and ranch dressing in the middle, and then I closed it and gave it to him. And he kind of knew, but he like went through with it and he ate it, and it was disgusting. Oh my goodness! So, I that was like fun. I'm like <laughs> tasting it right now, oh, and it's like cool. so gross. It looked gross when I was making it. Like honestly, ugh. That is so funny. Well, we got like a little inside scoop on that. And do you have a favorite episode from the show? My favorite episode, actually, my favorite is in season three, which is coming out in mid July. So you'll have to wait for that but um, my one my favorite that's out right now is Mel versus the hidden history of normal street because uh, I get to be a director and like boss people around so <laughs> that was fun <laughs> that is really cool now again we're here at the El Nido Family Center event so can you tell us a little bit more about why this charity event is so important to you we've been working on this event for so long um, and we put countless hours into uh, making blankets and putting together these bags and we have these awesome crazy socks that like on set we had all the crew like donate these socks and uh, just like so many things and we're just so excited to meet all the kids today and give back because it's really important and it's something that we really want to do. That is so wonderful. And also here at the event, the episode that is screening today is Mystery of the Blood Moon Eclipse. So what are two things you would have to enjoy one spooky sleepover? Probably spooky spooky treats, because okay. those are so cool. Like maybe like a little um, sugar finger or something with like blood, oh, fake yeah, blood. Good idea. And um oh let's see. Oh, I love those like pianos that play when like so it looks like a ghost is playing or something. Those are super cool and creepy. So wow. those two things. Well, I would yeah. love to go to your spooky yeah, sleepover. I I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. And also, if you could see anything happen to your character, what would it be? Um, my character has been doing a lot of karate, and you'll get to see more of that in season three. So um, maybe like get into to a fight or something <laughs> that, that would be but yeah like I said in season three you'll get to see her do some karate on somebody Ooh, well we can't wait yeah. to see you show off some skills <laughs> yeah. there and Chandler we're gonna do a quick speed round are you ready for I'm it ready awesome ready. now the first one is favorite app uh, probably the texting app because I, I text so many people so Ooh, yeah or cool. Instagram <laughs> I spend too many hours on Instagram. Oh, I know, I know. It becomes like addictive it after does, a while. It does. And favorite emoji? Oh, the one that's like that one oh, or the cute. heart. I love the heart. I love how you did it too. Yeah. It was like perfect. And also dream place to visit. Ooh, France. Ooh, Paris, France. Cuz I've been to France once, but I didn't get to go to Paris, so Ooh. Yeah, and then you could have some crepes and go to exactly. the Louvre and everything. Mm -hmm. Croissants and yeah. the Eiffel Tower, all that. <laughs> and lastly, if you could bring out one message to all of your fans, what message would that be? I would say follow your dreams because there's going to be so many people that will tell you you can't do it or uh, just you're going to face so many obstacles and stuff, but you just got to keep going and uh, keep your spirits high and stay positive. Surround yourself with motivational inspirational people and follow your dreams. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I loved that message and you're a great role model to all of your fans. So thank you so much for catching up with me today and I wish you continued success with your career. Thank Bye you guys. So much. Bye. <laughs>